for an electric field passing through a flat surface perpendicular to it, the electric flux of the electric field through the surface is the product of the electric field strength and the area of the surface. A certain flat surface consists of two adjacent squares, where the side length in meters of this larger square is three times the side length in meters of the smaller square. An electric field with strength 29 volts per meter passes uniformly through this surface, which is perpendicular to the electric field. If the total electric flux of the electric field through the surface is 4,640 voltmeters, what is the electric flux in voltmeters of the electric field through the larger square? Okay, so we're told that this quantity known as the electric flux is equal to the product of the field strength multiplied, or the product of the field strength and the area of the surface. And we're given that a certain flat surface consists of two squares, a small square and a larger square. And we're told that the sides of the larger square are three times that of the small square. So if we assign x to the length of the small square, then each side on the large square is 3x. And through these surfaces is an electric field whose strength, we'll just say s, is equal to 29 volts meter, volt meters. Okay, so first let's find the area of both of these squares added together. So the area of the first square is x times x, which is x squared. And then the area of the larger square is going to be 3x times 3x, which is just going to be 9x squared. And then this, at, if we add both of these together, we get 10x squared. So that's the total area that the field is going through. Okay, so now we know the area. And we know the strength. And we know the total flux. So now we can write up an equation. So we're given that the total electric flux is 4,006, let me write it here, is 4,640 volts, volt meters. And we're given that the strength is 29 volt meters, volt per meter. And the area is this expression that we derived here, which is the total area. So this is an equation with only one variable, so we can just solve. So let's multiply the two constants here, the coefficient with this constant. The left-hand side stays the same. So on the right-hand side, we get 290x squared. And then let's divide both sides by 290. So this tells us that x squared is equal to... 4,000, 4,640 divided by 290. So that equals 16. And then we need to take the square root of both sides. So that gives us x is equal to 4. Okay. So that means that the value of x is 4, and the question told us to find the total electric flux of the electric field through the larger square. So now we can find the area of the larger square. So the area of the larger square is just side times side, and we know that each side is of length 3x. So the area is just going to be 3x times 3x 
but we know that x is 4, so we can just plug in 4. 3 times 4 is 12, so the total area is going to be 144. Okay, so now we know the total area of the large square. So in order to find the total flux through the large square, we need to multiply the area with the strength. The strength is the same. It's still going to be 29. So we just, to find the flux through the larger square, that's just going to be the strength, 29 volts per meter, times the area, which is 144. And if we put that into our calculator, 29 times 144, that just equals 4,176 volt meters. So 4,176 is the correct answer.